What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, we are still hanging out in our Barbie apartment, and I've been reading the comments. And many of you are saying that we should just add a shower head above the toilet. So I borrowed this from the Barbie Malibu house, I want to say. I cut a strip of foam board to go across the wall. I cut a few of those little circle things out of the top so it can hold Barbie bottles. However, I bent it a little. So let's cover it with a scrap of our free printable paper. And I doubled up the foam board. I made a little notch to fit the shower head then glued it into the room. So now we have a shower and a shelf to store more toiletries. And the shower can move. We can take the shower out and place it behind the sidewall to open up this space when playing. Thanks for the tip, y'all. And you know I've been searching through my Barbie stuff to find more accessories to add to this space like a watering can for the plants and this basket. I want to say it came from the Barbie Sweet Orchard Farm play sets. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Or it could have been the farmer's market. I don't remember. But I've been having a blast going through my Barbie accessories. And I noticed we get quite a few of these little hand towel things, but not a lot of fabric pillows. So maybe we can take one of these and fold it in half so the good side is on the inside. So around the edge, leaving an opening so it can be flipped inside out. Add fluff. So the opening closed to make a fabric pillow. And we can use the ones with prints to throw in a little more color. Speaking of color, Teresa now has a travel doll with a colorful dress. I got this a while back on Amazon. We get a green toothbrush and pink toothpaste, a lavender bucket hat and a yellow mask, a water bottle and a cell phone, a camera and a neck pillow, a backpack and a fanny pack, and a pet. Green sunglasses, a petite doll with the basic five points of articulation, movement at the head, shoulder and hip, a colorful marble dress with a little polka dot shine and pink shoes. Yeah, I'm totally taking those. The doll has brown hair with some lighter tones. Her eyes are a little shiny and her lipstick is a little pixelated. She comes with stickers and a purple suitcase. It's similar to the pink one that comes with Barbie. The handle can come up, it opens, and if we lift the bed, we can place it underneath. Yep. So that could be an option to store some Barbie clothes in this space. However, there's no way I'm adding purple. So I'm gonna place pink luggage under the bed. It has some blue painted details. The dress can fit a classic Barbie body. And I just noticed there's a little flare at the bottom. We can place it in the suitcase when not in use and store it under the bed. New Barbie fashionistas for 2023 are starting to show up online. Here is doll number 206. The number is on the side of the box, along with a picture of all the dolls. And yeah, there is new packaging. The zipper bags have been replaced with a curved plastic packaging. The box art is different. Hmm, purple stitching, blue stitching. Whenever change happens in my doll world, I tell myself not to get emotional. It happens, and sometimes it's good. I love the new Clio, but I loved those zipper bags. I use them for storage. They're great for holding fabric and I use them for traveling with my dolls. Sorry if I'm overreacting. Let's look at the doll. This doll has a classic Barbie body. Her hair is brown with a light crimp. 
We do have some rubber band lines from the packaging. Looks like there are freckles mixed into her skin and painted or printed freckles across the face. Her face screening is very nice. The eyes aren't shiny, the lips are smooth. She has brown eyebrows, colorful makeup, brown eyes, and a salmon-y lip color. Her body is also covered in freckles. She comes wearing a colorful marble-like printed dress with the same pattern on mesh sleeves, ribbon straps, and blue stitching. The dress has Velcro going all the way down the back. She comes with a purple purse with the letter B. It does have an animal print and sculpted chain details. She comes with clear shoes. It's kind of a greenish aqua color with triangle heels. I kind of love this shoe design and I hope to see it in other colors. I would have loved to have seen this doll come on a made to move body because of all of her beautiful freckles. If we switch her to a made to move body, we're going to lose them or we have to repaint them. And that's a lot of work. I paid $10.99 for this doll on Amazon. While shopping, I also picked up this new Made to Move Barbie for $15.99. It has the new art style and gives a little info about being a volleyball player on the back of the box. Barbie now has over 250 careers. So that's about $16 for a Made to Move and about 11 for a doll with the basic five points. That's a $5 difference. I would gladly just pay $15.99 for it to come on a made to move in the first place. Sorry, I was a little too emotional in that clip. Can we do it again? So that's a $5 difference. Personally, I would love to see Barbie fashionistas come as made to move dolls. Would you be willing to pay an extra $5? Let us know in the comments down below. The volleyball player Barbie comes with a white volleyball that can be attached to her finger, comes with a long sleeve shirt with purple and pink ombre sleeves, orange stitching and 59 in the center. The back is purple with Velcro going all the way down. She has purple shorts with an elastic waistband, white fabric knee pads, that's cool, silver shoes, she has blonde hair, and her face screening is a little shiny. Hmm, these two have a pretty similar skin tone. Their faces do look a little different, but the legs look just about the same. So let's place them into a plastic bag and then into hot water. I said I wasn't gonna do this. When the doll's head is squishy, we can remove it easily, then place it onto the new body. Use acrylic paint to add a few freckles. Yeah, this is taking forever. I water down the paint to get them a little lighter in some spots. Then I take some ideas from Rainbow High and add a little blushing. I dry brush a little pink onto the doll like on the collarbone, the elbows, the knees. I tried my best to keep it soft. I think less is more in this situation. And mainly because I am kind of new at this. And get her dressed. And the volleyball player is a tall Barbie. So the cool shoes don't really fit. And did I realize that before customizing this doll? No, no I did not. But now we have a made to move tall Barbie fashionista. I bought this Barbie pet and accessory set back in December for $10.99. Since we have a little cat in our apartment, I thought we could use a few of these accessories. The included cat has a little movement. When you push on the tail, the hand moves. It has a removable collar. There's a purple cat toy that looks like a mouse purple doesn't match my aesthetic. There's a red ball of yarn. The one time I need it to be pink. A pink bowl. Okay, yes. We can place that in the kitchen. And there's a little can of cat food that we can keep in the refrigerator. This set also comes with a large fish bowl. There is sand that we can add to the bottom and fish. 
they kind of just lean against the bowl. It comes with three. I think I'm only gonna put one in there and place it on our little shelf. There is also a net and fish food. Adding a little more detail to our Barbie apartment. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at more Barbie stuff and added to our Barbie apartment, decorated with Barbie play sets and accessories. And thanks for the tip about the shower. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. Bye! Yeah.